If you divorce, you marry somebody else, you're gonna be at the same spot, seven years, 10 years, 15 years down that road. Hmm. Let's fix this now. Thank you for joining us for the Blended Kingdom Families podcast. This podcast is for blended families, the people who love them, and anyone who just wants to improve their marriage and family relationships. BKF exists to break the cycle of divorce, equip marriages, and unite blended families with the truth of God's Word. It is our hope that today you will receive biblical guidance and practical resources that will bring unity and peace to create your thriving, healthy home. Let's jump in. Hey guys, welcome to the BKF Podcast. We are so excited you're here with us today. If you haven't already, this is your opportunity. Like, share, comment, subscribe to our podcast. If you're listening on Audible, our entire podcast is in video format on YouTube. You can go, subscribe. We would love to alert you when new podcasts are released every Monday. But today, we have an amazing guest with us, Dr. David Clark. Great to have you with us. Well, it's great to be here. I'm, I'm amazing? Really? Are you sure? I, I think you're pretty amazing. Well, I'm going to go with that. Okay. <laughs> well, Dr. Clark, welcome. I want to tell our audience just a little bit about you and your background. You guys, Dr. Clark is a Christian psychologist, popular speaker, and success, successful author. Through his Bible-based teachings and therapy, he guides people towards healthy lives, marriages, and families. And since 1986, Dr. Clark has been in full-time private practice in Tampa, Florida, where he's worked extensively with individuals, couples, and families in therapy. All of his teaching is Bible-based and his goal is to guide people toward healthy lives, marriages, and families by relying on his personal faith in God, the truths in the Bible, and the science of psychology. He has a PhD in clinical psychology from Western Conservative Baptist Seminary, and we're just so excited to have you, Dr. Clark. You know, that guy does sound amazing. I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> of course, I wrote most of that myself. Look, I'm, God's, been, God's been very good to us. 35 years of working for the Lord and helping families, blended families, uh, families that are traditional, it doesn't make any difference, people with depression, anxiety, marital crisis, whatever it is, God's been good. That's well, good. we love your work, and uh, it is truly, um, it, it, anybody who gets to experience it is truly going to be helped. So we're excited that you're here. We're going to be talking all kinds of things, marriage. Um, but first, before we get into that, Beyond your introduction, is there anything that you'd love to tell the audience about you, your family, what you do, just a little insight into your background? Sure. Well, the main thing is I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Uh, I, that's the heart of my life, of my marriage and family, always has been, hopefully always will be. Mm -hmm. uh, and the blonde comes second. I married Sandy 39 years ago. She married me, shock of my life, and she's <laughs> remained. She's wonderful. We have, like the two of you, Scott, Vanessa, we work together. We're a team. We've been doing this now, of course, for 39 years, but together at the office where she handles the book orders and talks to people, and we talk about all kinds of cases for the last 10 years. And mm. it's been fantastic. Wow. So we have had four children, three girls right in a row, and then a boy. We thought we were done at three, <laughs> but Sandy couldn't keep her hands off me for obvious <laughs> reasons. And so we ended up having William, who is, of course, a boy. So it was like, ah, chaos. We don't know how to raise boys. So uh, that's it's God's been so good to us. They all love the Lord. They're doing well. We have four grandkids now. Wonderful. And more have been more have been promised. I'm just saying that's out there and we expect more, but it's been, God's been so good to our family. Oh, uh, I lost so my, good. lost my dear parents in this last year, both of them, boy, that that's been hard, but their wonderful legacy of love and loving Jesus and serving him, mm -hmm. boy, we're, we're going to continue that legacy as long as we can. Yeah, man, that's so good. Dr. Clark. Well, and, and your work is so important, Dr. Clark, and, and we're going to dive into your book. Um, I don't want a divorce, the 90 day guide to saving your marriage. So I, I, I don't know why, but lately I have just been obsessed with titles and I, and I love the title of this book. There's so many times that I've counseled couples and I know you have as well that you're sitting there and they're like, I don't want a divorce, but I don't know where to go. Mm -hmm. So first of all, what was your heart behind writing the book? And can you tell our viewers a little bit about the inside? Well, I do mostly marriage counseling. That's my thing, and especially marital crisis. My dad, Bill Clark, named the practice that I joined the Marriage and Family Enrichment Center, so I didn't have much of a choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, I, I love, I'm love. i an active guy, a lot of energy, which is what's required to work with couples. Mm -hmm. So I, I developed this, this process that you see in the book. It's exactly what I do in session with couples. 
and mm-hmm. has been probably for 20, 25 years now. I don't write a book until I know it works. Mm-hmm. So these this step-by-step process has worked hundreds of times. I've seen God use it because I got tired of the divorce rate being too high. A few years ago, in fact, there was a there was a study that came out that showed that among committed Christians, now the divorce rate isn't 50%, it's like in the high 20s. Well, my point is that's still too high. Mm. We should be dead zero or close to it. Mm. But I, as you do, I work with many couples that, that have been divorced for whatever reason. God's message is he loves you. He will freak, he's forgiven you if there was sin involved. In fact, if you were divorced by somebody else, it wasn't your fault, but whatever, he wants restoration. And so these same principles work uh, in situations like that. Mm. And I've just seen God use it. And I'm the man with the plan. Every book I write has got a very clear plan of action. Mm. Mm-hmm. And if I'm working with a couple, I'll tell them right up front, uh, this is the process I use. It's like Arnold's rug. I got the one process. And this is the mm-hmm. steps we're going to follow. Mm-hmm. And you either agree to do it or you don't. And if you don't, I'm not going to see you. If they come to my office without doing the homework, there's homework every single session except the first. And even the first, I'm betting people more, mm. uh, then don't come. If they show up without the homework, I'll say, well, you're going to pay me and I'm not going to see you. So it's mm. very clear that they're going to have to get this work done. That's how I get past resistance. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Yeah. And you also have a podcast centered around the book as well, which is I Don't Want a Divorce podcast. So Dr. Clark, what was your heart behind the podcast and how, you know, what, what is it that, um, we know that you specialize in marriage and crisis, but what, what different kinds of conversations or topics do you talk about on the podcast? Boy, just a wide variety. I I will blame this on Phil Dugas of Dugas Creative, one of my favorite son-in-laws, he calls himself. (laughs) Anyway, uh, and he he lives here locally and is a digital genius. And he said, Dave, you're you're doing a local practice and it's successful and and you got the books out there, but it's a digital world. Mm. I said, what are you talking about, Phil? This was probably four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. So as you're doing and doing a wonderful job, he said, Dave, you can reach so many more people. Uh, for the kingdom and and with these mm. principles that you know work i said okay phil so i'm thinking well i'll humor phil i think i'll help phil out mm. he's building a business oh it turns out he's revolutionized everything yeah. mm. uh we've done i think 160 some podcasts now it's a weekly thing where, mm-hmm. and and what we'll do is it's focused on really i, I, I i'm prolific if nothing else i write a new book and then i'll, I'll do podcasts on that book mm-hmm. Most of it's based on on marital crisis, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, 12, 14, 15 minutes of just specific. We give a lot of value. Of course, it's free. People may end up buying the book or talk to me on the phone with phone advice. But boy, it's revolutionized our ministry. Absolutely and totally. I'm still doing my local practice. I'm an in-person therapist still. But 70% now of my practice is phone advice, where I talk once or twice, like a coach almost. Talk to folks on the phone, give them the right plan, hook them up with a local therapist in their area. Man, God has just used it in amazing ways. I didn't have a clue. Yeah. So it's cool. I love it. And and, and your son-in-law was absolutely correct. You can't keep all this great information in Tampa, Florida. (laughs) you got to get it out. Uh, And I wish, uh, you know, I know a lot of people who watch our show and watch and listen to our podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, they're... A lot of them are in a very treacherous season right now. And and some people kind of stumble upon our podcast because they're looking for resources because there's a fire brewing behind them. So crisis is part of our ministry. And definitely we're so glad that we're shedding light on this. So the first question that I have is the average marriage, the definition of crisis, how does a marriage identify if they're in crisis currently. Well, here's what happens. There's a breakdown of intimacy on all three levels. It doesn't happen overnight, but it happens. And frankly, it's my opinion, it happens to every single couple. Mm. Unless you bought all of Dave Clark's books and you read them on your wedding night and you you can start (laughs) fresh. Look, nobody does that. We don't know what we're doing. It happened to the blonde and I, probably 20 years into our marriage. I mean, we're, we're like done. We're in trouble. Nobody's getting divorced, but we had lost it. Emotional intimacy usually goes first, followed by physical intimacy. If there was any spiritual intimacy, that's gone too. We are left with nothing. We can't talk. We can't resolve conflict. Mm. And a whole series of nasty patterns develop, and we just pull apart. And then mm. the, I tell couples, I told a couple the other day, this young couple, I said, your first marriage is over. Like it says in the book, mm. shoot it, drag it out back, get rid of it, you're done. 
Mm. We're going to build with God's help a brand new one mm. and join the club. It's it, it's universal. If you divorce, you marry somebody else, you're going to be at the same spot, seven years, 10 years, 15 years down that road. Mm. Let's fix this now. And I see that work over and over. So it's a, it's a universal club. Marriage is mm. hard. Blended families are brutal. They can be done and done well, but boy, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of God mm. too. Yeah, I 100% agree. No, that's so good. And so, you know, what would you say to a couple that is experiencing crisis right now? What what um, are any steps, what could they take to take their marriage back, Dr. Clark? Well, I would recommend, of course, I'm a psychologist. I, I recommend counseling. I'm good at what I do. Now, you'll, your pastor will obviously be involved and maybe some other folks that will be on your team, but you need to see someone who knows what they're doing. And your basic pastor, frankly, does not. They're well-meaning pastoral. This is what I do for a living. Somebody like me who's licensed, a Christian professional, I'm going to have, I'm, I know I know what I'm doing. It's like seeing a heart surgeon. You yeah. wouldn't go to your doctor and say, heal my heart. So you, you go to counseling and then you're looking for somebody with experience, not somebody new at it, and who's got a plan of action. Mm. When I see you, you have to be a very active, directive therapist with a couple or they will eat your lunch. Their system is powerful. What they do, what they do every day. And so I start them right from the start. And I'll say, look, we, okay, you're in a crisis, first marriage over. We're going to start with God's help and the right steps. We're going to fix this. God's going to fix it. You will get through, not just survive. You're going to have the greatest marriage anybody ever had, but you're going to have to follow the steps. Yeah. So that's why, that's why I say to couples, you don't quit. Satan wants you to quit. Our culture could care less about marriage. It's like a refrigerator that's not working. Get rid of it. Yeah. We don't fix anything anymore. Mm. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so no, no, marriage is different. It's sacred. I'll tell folks they're Christians and they don't, they don't think their marriage is sacred. I said, let me show you in the Bible. It starts at Genesis 2.24, one flesh. No other relationship is one flesh. That's sacred. Ephesians 5.25. Mm-hmm. Is marriage is the very picture of Christ's relationship with mm-hmm. the church. Don't tell me it, it doesn't feel sacred. It is sacred. Mm-hmm. And what we know, I'll say, we have the God of the universe who's right here with us now, because I just prayed, and we're going to pray at the end too. He's going to be with us every step of the way. Yeah. You're not mm-hmm. doing this on your own. So right away, I give them hope, and then we start the ball rolling, and we, mm-hmm. we heal from what's happened, and we build something new. Dr. So, Clark, I have a question, and, and maybe this relates to I'm going to try to relate it to what, what we're talking about, but also a little bit more to maybe what the audience is experiencing. I know a lot of blended families have well intention mm-hmm. when they get married and it's their, maybe it's their second marriage, maybe it's their third marriage. I don't know. But I do know that when people take vows, they generally have good intentions about it. But my question is, is what if their previous marriage ended because of crisis and their new marriage is now experiencing kind of the aftershocks of that. Mm. I don't know if you see that and you may be working with a couple and you're trying to identify current problems, but how much of it is from the past, from previous marriages? How much of that carries over? Oh man, it's 65, 70% of that carryover. That's why I wrote, I got a book for everything. Uh, I didn't want a divorce, now what? helping couples, you got to heal from what happened before. Every single drop of that Mm -hmm. trauma, which is not resolved, will transfer to your new marriage partner Mm -hmm. and your blended family. And it never goes away. So after some triage, there's some things they have to do just to kind of maintain and survive. Mm -hmm. I get right to that work and they don't want to do it. They want to work on the here and now. Help us now. I'm going to. But we have to heal from that before. And probably both partners Mm -hmm. have been divorced or death of a spouse and they have not Mm -hmm. done that work and their kids haven't done that work. Mm-hmm. Okay, recipe for disaster. The good news is we can. It doesn't take that long. We'll get that work done. We'll heal. We'll heal together. I have both people in the room at the same time. It's not separate. We will heal together. Transfer eliminated. You're closer, and that's the foundation. Then, okay, let's build this new marriage and family. Yeah. Most mm-hmm. folks don't do that. They don't know it's important to do. I'm starting fresh here. No, you're not. If you haven't done that work, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's so good. Mm-hmm. And. And let's take it to the other side of the fence, because I, I know people, if they're watching, they're like, okay, crisis. I think, I think that's, that's where I'm at. And okay, I, I see a resource, um, and I think my spouse is willing to go. Why should they want to heal and want to resolve beyond the fact of just not getting divorced? Because I'll be honest with you, I had a conversation just yesterday with somebody who said, I'm staying married till my kids are out, and then I'm gone. Just yesterday, I had that conversation. And I'm curious if people really understand how good marriage can be. 
And in your experience, when you see the healed, not the healing, not the process of healing, but the actual healed, how good can marriage be? Oh, it can be absolutely fantastic. But it always comes, as you're indicating, Scott, Vanessa knows this too, it always comes through a process of hurt and hard work. Oh boy. But the payoff is absolutely fantastic. Plus, I tell couple, I tell couples, look, if we're Christians here, I want you to pray right now or even tonight and ask God what he'd like you to do. You're going to get one answer and only one. Stay married, fix this, I'll help you. And I don't care. I've seen the worst issues in the world. Nobody pays the money they pay me for some minor problem. I'm just telling you, it's, mm-hmm. it's big money. But I see the worst possible situations. God doesn't care. He doesn't care what's happened, what kind of mess you've made. He loves you. If you'll repent and if you'll follow the truth, mm-hmm. everything can be cleaned up. So the bottom line is what God wants. What Dave Clark wants isn't all that important. I want you to make it too. But God says, I want you to make it. And the payoff See, Satan, you're getting at this, Scott, and you're right. Satan will say, look, okay, maybe you'll stay together, uh, you know, but it won't be any good. You will never, all those lies, you'll never really be close. You're, somebody else could do, be so much better for you. It's a lie. You can make this work. Mm-hmm. People, I had just this last week, I, I've heard this a million times, of course, the guy said, look, I, I, I've i lost my love for my wife. I can't ever conceive, and she'd had an affair and other horrible things. I, 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 I can never get that back. I said, you're wrong. I've seen this hundreds of times. God will turn you. No, if we take the right steps, God will turn your heart back on. You won't believe what he'll do. It'll be brand new and you will be great. They look at me like I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. Mm. I've seen it happen so many times. Yeah. No, oh, that's so good, Dr. Clark. I'm loving, yeah. loving all the good nuggets. Well, if you had a, you know, a couple right now that was sitting right in front of you in crisis, and I'm sure, you know, there's probably somebody out there right now that's, you know, like, man, this is where we're at. This is really speaking to me. You know, what would you just want to impart to them? What, you know, nugget of just wisdom or hope or encouragement, maybe it's scripture that you would just want to speak over them in this moment. I would tell them, I tell every single couple in a, in a first session when they come in to see me, usually near the end, I say, look, because one person usually wants out. They've come in like one time, one person wants to save it. I say to both of them, okay, I've taken the history. I've given you kind of the game plan here. I am telling you right now with perfect confidence, 100% confidence that with the right steps and God's help, we will heal from what's happened and build you a fantastic marriage. That's the goal, not survival. So I'm very confident about that. Everybody listening here and watching, the same is true for you. We forget so often the God we serve, the God we have. He isn't a small God. There's nothing he can't do. Hmm. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We read the Bible story after story, complete disaster, no hope, can't work, and God comes through, and God comes through, and God comes through again. He wants to do that for you. He's glorified, and you're happy. So it's always, there's no hint of, well, this is a tough case. I'm not sure if uh, if we'll be able to handle this. Well, that's ridiculous. God can do it. He's never done anything he can't handle. Absolutely. No, I love that. And yeah. everything that you said, it points to our, our ministry's mission verse, which is Luke one thirty seven. for nothing is impossible with God, not even crisis, not, you know, marriage is not impossible. If you have God with you, you know, there's nothing yeah. that is too impossible for God because impossible is where he begins. Miracles are what he does. Yeah. So, well, and, Good. and Dr. Clark, I, I we have, so love this time with you and 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 I hope that somebody who's listening or somebody who's watching who is in that crisis situation sees this book picks it up goes through it um, it's going to be phenomenal the last question that we always ask all of our podcast guests uh, blended kingdom families the name of our ministry what is a blended kingdom family to you man that's a great question that's what we're all looking for I think it is a marriage and family, first of all, that has God at the very center of it, center of the marriage and center of the family. And of course, the parents can get that done. Uh, The marriage is the most important relationship in that home. And I think there, there, there are three goals that flow from that commitment, which better come first. Love can be kind of shaky at times, commitment and love and then glorifying God. So, uh, that that that's what I would say, and that and God wants every blended family to be the greatest family that ever was, and He can make that happen. Mm, love it, so good. I love that, Dr. Clark. Well, we have just enjoyed our time with you today, Dr. Clark. But before we jump off, we want everyone to be able to find you, find your podcast, your book, your website. So tell us where all of our viewers and listeners can find you. 
boy, there is one place that that is my website, everything Dave Clark, more than you ever want to know and probably need to know about Dave Clark is there. Books, my phone advice service, the podcast. I do these Ask Dr. Clark videos. YouTube. Mm. I have a YouTube channel now. Well, so does everybody else, but still help me. So David E. Clark, Clark with an E on the end, David E. Clark, PhD.com. That's the whole ball of wax. Wonderful. We love it, Dr. Clark. Well, again, thank you so much for being here with us today. It's been just a blessing and an honor to have you and hear your heart for families and for marriages and um, just for the kingdom. And we just honor you and we love you. Yeah. Well, I, I love doing this. You guys are making a real impact for the kingdom. And I enjoyed this so much. Thank you. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Well, guys, thanks so much for joining in. Again, if you haven't already, take an opportunity, like, share, comment, subscribe, all those kind of cool things. We will definitely see you again. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Be blessed in all that you do. Take care. Hey guys, so glad you were here with us today and I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And you can find more resources from Blended Kingdom Families at blendedkingdomfamilies.com. Join us again next time as we hang out with more amazing podcast guests. And remember, nothing will be impossible with God.